Shubham Vijay and today in this video I am going to demonstrate milling tool dynamometer. We will see the complete working of this milling tool dynamometer and also observe the data acquisition using a software. So this is our complete setup of milling tool dynamometer. This is the main controller in which all the components and microcontrollers are fitted. X axis, Y axis and Z axis display meters are provided so that you can observe all the real time forces over here also in a digital manner. This is the complete load cell module which will be installed on a milling machine so that you can easily connect all the jobs on the fitted vice over here. The USB cable is also provided to connect the complete setup with the PC and some cables to connect the controller with the load cell module. Now let us closely observe the front panel. The order code of this milling tool dynamometer is 2235594.1A. You can use this order code to find out more details about this and to purchase it from our website which is www.tescaglobal.com. So this is the front panel of this milling tool dynamometer. Over here you can see the X axis, Y axis and Z axis DPMs are provided. The tear button for each and every axis is also provided so that you can start with a zero point figure for starting your load calculations. The load will be pre presented in kilogram force at each axis. On the back side of this uh, panel module you can see the power plug over here 230 volt AC. The power on off button toggle switch with the jewel light is also provided so that you can turn on and off the supply. The communication indicator is also presented which blinks uh, on a red headlight and the USB connector so that you can connect the complete controller with the PC. X, Y and Z axis connectors are also provided with the cables provided separately so that you can connect the load cell module with this controller. Now this is the main component by which we can calculate the forces on a job. The vice is fitted on the upward of this complete setup and this is installed on a MS plate so that you can easily install it your milling machine. These are the front terminals by which we can connect the cables to the controller. The basic construction is based on the concept that cutting or loading point is not fixed with respect to the job and the dynamometer. The job platform rests on a 4 simultaneously located supports from 4 o-rings. There are o-rings pr provided in, in terms of transducers. The forces on each o-rings are man monitored and summed up correspondingly and for getting the total magnitude of all the three forces x, y and z. Directions are given as the direction arrow presented. The z force will be going to downwards, x force to the leftwards and the x, y axis is provided on the right side so that you can observe the y axis will be going frontwards as the arrow direction indicated. So all three forces and the fourth force with the four o-rings are summed up and calculated through the microcontrollers connected to the main panel and you can get the resultant magnitude provided on the job. So now we are up to connect the cables for X, Y and Z axis. Carefully put the cables connector as per the groove design like this. I have connected X axis cable right now. The other end of this cable will be connected on the back side of this controller panel. Similarly Y. and Z as well. Now at the back side of this controller panel make sure to connect proper access cable to the proper access denoted. Access is done. Y axis and the last one Z 
zx is now all three cables has been connected so you can ready to power on the main controller and before starting the job you can tear to zero now we will power on the main panel and as we power on the main panel you can see the hello indication and right now you can see all forces are in zero if some of the forces are deflected at any other value you can use the tear button so that you can tear it accordingly now for observing the forces you can see the x axis direction pointing towards this direction so when the force is applied to this direction the values on x x axis will be increasing here you can see the resultant force towards x axis direction is higher similarly y axis is frontwards so if i pull this from the backwards you can see in negative the y axis force is higher and z axis is downwards so when we press it downwards you can see the z axis is higher at the magnitude so that is how all the different forces while doing a single job you can comedically observe it and resultant force also calculated now for connecting it with the pc you can use the usb cable provided the usb a end will be connected at this point and the other end will be easily connected to usb a channel at any of the usb slot provided on a computer or laptop here we will connect it to the computer and we will see the software installation and working on the software and getting the resultant forces on the software also so you will get a software in the software content so this is the milling tool dynamometer folder that you will have copy it to your computer and then you're going to open this and in the milling tool dynamometer software you will find some uh, zip files and the uh, other files which are which are already unzipped over here so firstly we will install the driver for the cable for this depending on your os or the operating system you have to select the desired window so as my window is windows 11 so we are going to use 64 bit windows and this is the installation setup file for the cable driver so we'll install this in this manner so here installation process is been started and it is completed right now now we will start installing the other software we have to go my installer here complete setup of the installation files is given in the setup file so you have to run this and start installing the complete software which will install the runtime software for this it will take about about two to three minutes to completely install maybe depending on your computer speed that will be about five to ten minutes also after the overall process completed your software is completely installed then we go to the next procedure
so here it is almost done and your installation has been completed now we'll click finish and it will ask you to restart the computer so you must restart the computer after installing any software uh, i am working on it and we will do a restart collection completed you will find a shortcut file for running the software over here you can see a folder is created after installing the software this is rmc d shortcut key for the runtime file of this led tool dynamometer sorry milling tool dynamometer here right now you can see the window is open where we can uh, get the x axis values or the graph with between x axis load and time similarly for y axis and z axis also so this is the mix signal graphs also provided on this lower window and the start button when you are start acquiring the samples this will you can change the sampling rate over here this will take 10 samples per second and time will be shown at which the samples has been recorded and reset key is provided for resetting all the graphs panels right now you can see the panel comb status over here that need to be uh, in green position so when we connect the cable with the led tool dynamometer properly this will close up and we are ready to do the uh, data logging of the complete loads at different axes after connecting the cable to the pc and installing complete software we have to search the cable at device manager so in the device manager when we connect the cable right now you can see it is showing at uh, usb serial port com5 if i disconnect the cable the com5 will disappear and if i connect it again it again starts showing the desktop and we'll see the runtime file when we turn it on here you can see after even after connecting the cable the panel comb status is not showing green so the main reason behind that the software is designed as that you have to connect it always at com4 so you have to manually change the comb position of this driver for going this going to property port settings advanced and here you will find the com port number so com port number need to be always com4 right now it is in use if i select it and press ok it will change the com port so now we will see that com4 com4 is now available this is already using at at some place so we are disconnected it from there and now it is free to use for this software now we'll select com4 for this cable press ok it will ask you to restart the computer so as per your suitability you should have to restart the comp computer after changing the com port now after connecting it to com4 we'll again turn on this runtime file and here you can see the com port status is not right now green so we are ready to use this device on this and when we press start we can get the x axis y axis and z axis forces simultaneously mix signal graph is also available on this so i will press start and manually force the dynamometer so that we can get the graphs for sample the sampling rate is 10 samples per second here as i have started the graph right now you can see the line is completely green and when i start forcing it x axis here you can see the x axis magnitude with x y and z is also increased but the higher is x axis similarly now i'm pressing it to the z axis so z axis magnitude is increasing up to 6 and 
for y axis now here you can see y axis graph is increasing so that's how different graphs are acquired so while working on a job you can easily get all the mixed signals on this using this dynamometer after acquiring your all details you can just press stop data will be present at this screen and for resetting this you can press reset so here after working with all the software and main panel you can observe and write down the readings on this observation table given you can start milling at milling operation at giving uh, uniform depth cut of feed of about 0 mm at x axis y axis at 0.5 mm z axis depth cut at 0.5 mm with x axis 0.5 mm y axis 0.5 mm with 1 mm of the depth cut with at z axis with x and y axis at 1 mm simultaneously and 1.5 mm x and y axis you can note down the spindle speed in rpm you can note down the velocity by calculating the formula given and forces at all the three axes given with the software as well as on the front panel and resultant force for, for resultant force you can use the formula given over here r equals to square root of px square plus py square plus pz square in kg so that you can find out all the values and resultant force on the job So here our demonstration of this milling tool dynamometer has been completed I have explained you all the components of this uh, milling tool dynamometer and we will we have also seen the software working and taking the data on the software For similar content you can visit our YouTube channel which is Tesca Global at YouTube also you can visit our website for different website uh, with different modules which is www.tescaglobal.com So this is it for today if you like this video you can like subscribe and share and forward it to your friends those who want to learn about this type of content also if you find any queries related to this component and this milling tool dynamometer you can contact to tesca technologies private limited for any type of support thank you so much